I'd like to show you a lovely demonstration that you can use to talk about the physics of heat transfer with your students. I've got a couple of blocks here. This one's made of aluminium and this one's made of plastic. And you can buy blocks just like this from your usual educational supplier. However, if you don't want to spend the money, all you need is a reasonable sized lump of aluminium and a similar block of plastic. Before you start the experiment, you need to hand the blocks out to your students and ask them to talk about how they feel. And they should feel that the aluminium block is colder even though they should be at the same temperature. This is a good opportunity to introduce the idea of thermal conductivity and to explain that aluminium conducts heat better than the plastic and therefore it conducts heat away from your fingers and makes it feel cold. If they're not convinced that they are indeed at the same temperature, you can use a setup like this. I've got a couple of thermocouples attached to each block going through a data logger. So you can see they're at more or less the same temperature. Here's the experiment. Take some ice and you're going to put a cube on each of the blocks. But before you do that, ask your students to predict what's going to happen and to explain their prediction. And this is what happens. Now you can see that the cube on the aluminium block is melting far more quickly than the cube on the plastic block. And that's quite counterintuitive because if you remember when they held the block, it would have felt colder to them. So how come the ice cube sitting on the thing that feels colder is melting quicker? The explanation is that the aluminium is a better conductor than the plastic. And so the heat transfer from the aluminium to the ice block is far more efficient. So heat from the block itself is being conducted into the ice and that's what makes it melt. The plastic on the other hand is a rather poor conductor and very little heat from the block itself is being transferred to the ice. So the ice sits there pretty much doing nothing. But if you look at these readings now, you can see that the temperature of the aluminium is dropping quite sharply, whilst the plastic seems to be staying at roughly the same temperature. I only came across this demonstration recently, but it's already one of my favourites.